Hello everyone, thanks for coming out here today. Um, the news reaching us today is from um, Governor Godwin Obaseki. He, uh, we all know that um, his house has not been together uh, within the last uh, um, um, couple of days, but he has a message to those in his cabinet. He says that you, uh, you can resign, but also prepare for this. So we don't know if he's actually threatening them or what that statement means. We're going to look into the content and what that um, it's all about. But before we go into the news, please, if you haven't yet subscribed to us, do click on the subscribe button um, down below and also do give us a thumbs up. Um, do click on the like button um, just to um, let us know you do appreciate uh, what we're doing here. So, um, yeah, let's go into the news um, for today. So we all know that um, Obaseki has been, uh, there's, his, his own boat has been rocking. This is not a PC now. It doesn't have anything to do with Oshomole. This is his own cabinet. We all know that um, recently his chief of staff um, resigned uh, suddenly and um, he didn't really speak much. He didn't say, he didn't give details about his reason of resigning. And um, in his statement, uh, there, there's been speculations that um, there are also people around him, apart from um, um, Taiwa Kerele that has resigned. Among his cabinet, there are also people that are, that are still loyal to Oshomole. There are still people that are still on the other side of the fence. So, um, and we all know that um, the, the, the governorship election is just around the corner. So what he did was that he called everyone together and said, all, and I know those, those speculations, they are getting to them. He's hearing them. Probably the attitude of those around him is beginning to um, um, perceive everything that is happening around him to see those who are supporting him those who don't want him to um, come back for this election again but um nigerians are still wondering you know, why is at this crucial time that taiwa currently who has worked with him for over four years now is resigning but anyways um, let's just go into the news and see um what's happening um today obaseki says you can resign but also prepare a Doe State Governor, His Excellency Godwin Obaseki, is battling so hard to keep his house together. Report says he is alleged to have threatened his commissioners who intend resigning their office in his administration. The governor who summoned all his commissioners to an emergency meeting at his Benin residence on Monday sounded a warning to all his commissioners who were present at the meeting that whoever wants to resign can do so but should be prepared for what comes after resignation a top government official who spoke to chrysosa media on the ground of anonymity disclosed to us that some of the commissioners who had initially concluded plans to resign their respective positions are now scared as a result of this and are already considering having a second thought and temporarily play along with the governor until their actions become harmless. Recall that it was earlier confirmed that the governor has sent police, DSS and thugs to the home of Taiwa Kerele, his former chief of staff who recently resigned this action by the governor is obviously to set example and intimidate other appointees of his own who plan to resign. So, my people, that's the news I'm reaching us um, at the moment. So, what Obaseki has done, he's been uh, proactive. Should I say he's been proactive about this? Because um, um, Taiwo's resignation, um, maybe, you know, sometimes people, they're always waiting for who would take the lead. Who knows before now, a lot of people have had um, this um, um, feeling or this thought of resigning, but they're waiting for who to take the lead. Now, Akerele has taken the lead by resigning and uh, um, just walking out and saying um, he's walking out of all of this due to um, principles and um, ad governance. So uh, right now, some commissioners, it has been alleged that some commissioners were planning to um, resign. And what he did was that he called them together, probably to sound the wording. Maybe if he has done this, who knows, maybe before Akerele re um, resigned who knows that uh, who knows if he would have stayed behind but anyways he called them um, the commissioners together and stated to them that anyone that wants to resign you can resign just resign go ahead and resign but be prepared for what uh, is to come after 
uh, that that is some persons took that as a threat. It's kind it's kind of a threat for you to say whosoever wants to resign, resign, but be prepared, be prepared for what is to come. It's not a forced, it's not compulsory, it's not it's not a must to be a commissioner. If they want to resign, yeah, to be honest, they they should resign. They should have their own personal reasons as well, just as Akerele. But uh, uh, he's stating to them that um, they should be prepared. What is prepared? Probably they will be stripped and then um, all the uh, uh, free monies they've been enjoying and all of that. Who knows? That's what is reminding them of that. Um, be prepared for what is to come. As soon as you resign, know that um, you are going back to square one. But this is all politics. This is the Nigeria we are in, threatening uh, commissioners that want to... Uh, 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 resign your your administration if you are doing the right thing i don't think uh, uh, you would be receiving this kind of um, um uh, things these things happening at this time if things are going well then uh, you shouldn't be um, getting people resigning and leaving your cabinet at this crucial time when you need them the most and uh, we all know what happened was that um, after um, akerele resigned and um, some dss and um, police and uh, thugs name it invaded the, the property of um, Akirele and who, who knows if this is just to serve as a warning to those who have in the intention of resigning that it, could that be the reason for that his statement be prepared for what is to come is he saying to them that what happened to Akirele and um, his residents and everything you might get the same um, sort of treatment as well. We're unsure why he's why he's saying that, but that's what he's saying. Maybe it's to intimidate them. And it has been gathered that most some of the people who had the mind of um, resigning, they are they are keeping their calm now. Probably they are just watching. They are waiting till all of this dies down. Or probably they are waiting. You know, in our country, the kind of politics we play is very deadly. They know that there is uh, no flight uh, at the moment. So if they resign, how can they leave the country within the next couple of hours? They need to abscond. If they if they they've worked together before, you cannot just uh, you cannot just uh, stab the governor in the back and 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 remain and sit peacefully. So they are waiting for everything to die down. COVID nineteen is not even helping matters at the moment, and then the the, the lockdown and everything. But this is quite shocking. I believe Nigerians have concerns as well about Obaseki because this is the person we are hoping to re-elect again in September. Come September um, 2020, we are hoping to re-elect you as governor. And uh, all of this is happening in your in your cabinet. And you are sending out this kind of message that whosoever wants to resign should resign. I don't know the sort of confidence that it will place on uh, um, the common man. If you can threaten commissioners, then who is the, the common edolite? Who is the common man on the streets? What do they get? Could it be possible that all you've been saying that um, you have the int you have the people at your interest? They are they are at your heart. They are topmost of your of your heart. Could, could that be just because of this election? We we really don't know. We we know pe people are gonna people. I do want us to leave our take and do share your thoughts on this on all that um, Obaseki is doing. If this is really the right way to go about this, we know when people work together, there's usually one or two misunderstanding. It's quite understandable. It can be resolved. But to go the extent, the extent of threatening to say if you want to resign, uh, you can resign, but be prepared, be ready for what is going to come. That is quite a, a strong statement, and I don't think that. That is good for his political career at the moment is his ambition he has stayed he has been there for three years plus or could it be that he's so confident that because he has stayed there for three years plus come september he's going to remain in that seat but um, obaseki just has to do the right thing to end the trust of the people and the loyalty of the people i mean by when you do the right thing you don't have to beg people to work for you they can see your transparency they can see how uh, commendable you are they can see they can see your integrity and everything that surrounds your government and that's what counts most not really threatening people that if you want to leave leave so my people that's the news reaching us at the moment and uh, please do share your thought feel free to share your thoughts on this down below in the comment section let's have a healthy um, conversation about this about all that is going on in uh, Edo State some people still feel that um, Oshomole's hand is behind this but I don't know about that some people still feel that um, probably he's the one setting all this fire for Obaseki
anyways we will find that very soon so i want to take this time to say thank you to everyone that have subscribed and please if you haven't yet subscribed do click on the subscribe button down below and also please don't forget to give us a thumbs up just to let us know you do appreciate what we're doing so right so till i come your way again bye for now and god bless